case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1998, Sue Toth applied for a low interest home improvement loan from the Michigan State Housing Development Authority, MSHDA, but her application was denied due to a prior bankruptcy discharge. Indignant, she took her fight to court. Toth argued that MSHDA's rejection of her application constituted a breach of the bankruptcy code and filed a lawsuit against the agency and its officials. According to her, the refusal to grant her the loan based on her past bankruptcy history was a form of discrimination, forbidden under 11 U.S.C. Section 525-A. Besides, she claimed her rights under 42 U.S.C. Section 1983 were violated. Despite her arguments, the district court sided with MSHDA. The court believed the denial wasn't a breach of the bankruptcy code, as alleged by Toth. It clarified that the code does not extend to home loan programs. The rejection, according to the court, was an act of evaluating the applicant's financial responsibility. Furthermore, it held that the agency's policy of denying loans to applicants discharged from bankruptcy within the last three years didn't violate the code. Unwilling to accept the district court's decision, Toth appealed the case. However, the court's original ruling still held water. It found that the alleged discrimination claim under Section 525-A was unfounded and no relief was available under 42 U.S.C. Section 1983. The defendant's claim for immunity under the 11th Amendment also fell flat, as they had not followed the proper procedures to appeal the court's decision. In the end, the district court's decision remained in place. The court concluded that MSHDA was justified in considering past bankruptcies during its loan process throwing weight behind lenders' discretion to assess financial responsibility without it necessarily amounting to discrimination. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.